I'm going to do a test on this tiny USB 12.8 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. When I bought this battery, uh, I had an interesting call from, I think, from the, the distributor, and it could have been from China, that asked me what I was going to use this for. And at the time, I thought, uh, when I got it, uh, I think I got it about January, uh, I was going to use it as a, a golf cart, for a golf cart. And they said, no, 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 no. Uh, and I said, well, how about solar? Yeah. They said yes. So anyway, the um, the manual says this is a 100 amp hour battery, and it can be discharged at 100 amps. But they recommend the charge rate at 20 amps, but you can go up to 50. No more than that. But anyway, here I am. I am with the uh, Smart Shunt. That's a TBD. And interesting enough, if you look over here at my app for this TB, uh, TBD Smart Shunt, you're going to see it's using, I <laughs> can't believe it, almost 4 watts to have it plugged in. Now this battery it says it's 99%, but it is fully charged. I just took the charger off of it. And what we are going to do is do a capacity test on this Time USB 100 amp hour pro battery. It looks nice, but there's no documentation or anything on on the battery itself. It's, it's just in the the manual that they give you on it. Now I'm going to be using a pure side wave inverter, and this is a Acre Tools, and it is a 1500 watt. And I am going to boot it up right now, and let's see what the consumption is now. The battery voltage is 4.17, according to my T TBD smart shunt. And this says it's 3.9. So this is just a, a very inexpensive inverter. Okay, and it's consuming 1.1 watt right now. So we're going to turn on our dehumidifier. And we're using about 360 watts, approximately. Look at how our <laughs> voltage dropped. I'm going to go over here to our Smart Shunt app. And we're at 13.22. It's using 31 amps, 32, 33, 435, 38. It jumps all around. And um, we're going to see. I tried it with another shunt, but what happens is the battery went dead and I lost all data. So anyway, uh, this will probably take a couple hours. So we'll get back to you after uh, we get down here. Oh, by the way, this right here, this little plug, just so you know, it takes the uh, neutral to the ground and gives a bond so you can use this inverter for charging a car. Without it, it does not work. So I made one of these um, for each of my inverters. I have a 24 uh, volt inverter. Same thing, you have to use that plug to uh, bond the neutral and ground together. So here we are, and we'll be back sh shortly. I just wanted to point out one thing about this TBD Smart Shunt. It is a copy of Victron. And Victron Smart Shunt, and it's 500 amp. I don't know what the 50 millivolt means, but anyway, um, be curious to know if anybody's got a Victron Smart Shunt. Does it use between 4 and 5 watts of power just idling, idling fee? You know, so you've got your fan and power if you leave that plugged in. But I wanted to point out one thing about the app itself. It uh, tells you how many amps you've been consuming. But it also gives you an idea. And what we have is the um, dehumidifier goes on and off. It's set at 35%. So we have a, 
approximately two hours, two hours of uh, time left. If you look at the very bottom right there. So, so far we've consumed 22, almost 23 amp hours, according to this. And we're going to see how accurate this is. And again, it was at 99%, but I have it set. If we look at the battery settings, just so you can see what my settings are. I basically got these settings off of uh, Andy at out, Outback Garage in Australia, sunny, hot Australia. Uh, so I kind of, if you can look at these efficiencies, um, this is how I kind of set it, how he had his set when he was going through his Victron smart shot. So anyway, let's go back back home so it says we're at 76 percent 12.88 volts let's look at our inverter here 12.34 we are consuming 445 watts and says that we've used 2.66 kilowatt hours so far so We'll check up on this, but uh, I'm happy with this shunt other than I really don't like that five. Well, if you've got a massive system, I guess five watts is not very much. And this being um, a 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery. When I have this hooked up, it'll be hooked up on my whole system, which will be, you know, a 48 volt system and about 700 amp hours probably when I get done, maybe 800. We'll see. Uh, we'll talk to you later as the test continues. We're now at 50% and it shows that we've used 49.68. Let's go over here. Look at this. We're still 457, 58 watts and we 0.557 kilowatt hours used by this inverter keep in mind this has 1.28 kilowatt hours usable in this battery if you go down to zero i'm sure we'll see and we will check after we get done with our 50 percent oh just for the record i am going to uh, check here how many amps we're using and that says we're using 40 almost 40 and this says we're using 42 pretty close pretty close just as a secondary note here we've had this inverter on for two hours and 15 minutes and it's been doing well the fan kicks on I have not maxed this inverter out. We're basically doing one-third capacity of this inverter. The fan hasn't come on that much. Every once in a while it comes on. And again, we're down to 16% of our T uh, TBT uh, smart shunt. Uh, according to this, now we're 15%. And it says we have a time remaining of 22 minutes before we deplete the batteries. I'll be keeping an eye on it. Well, we're down to 2%, and I had to turn on a heat gun because even though most places, uh, this is spring, but not here in North Dakota, we had like six inches of snow here two days ago. So we are using 637, and we have consumed a little over one kilowatt hour 1.082 and we are at 90 uh, 90 well, we're going to be 98 here in a second kilowatt hours out of the battery according to our tbd smart shunt so um and you're probably going to hear that noise from the heat gun it is churning out the power one percent and i don't know when this is going to shut off but according to this one minute we're down 
volts to 7. Now, I think this inverter is going to shut off at 10 volts. We're at 